Hello and welcome to this week's edition of the John Biershan Show. I am play-by-play -play voice Kendall Grayson, joined as always by head coach John Biershan. Uh, coach, a little bit of a disappointing result for your team this past weekend. They go 0 for 3 uh, in Annapolis, Maryland and Newark, Delaware. Two losses to the United States Naval Academy Friday and Saturday. And then they dropped a game on Sunday night, 5-1 to one, to the number 17th ranked team in the country, the Delaware Blue Hens. Uh, I think in those games, Coach, we saw that the team outperformed Navy and Delaware in certain spurts and, and, and a few periods, uh, but ultimately they just weren't able to get the job done. So what do you think the difference was between you know Alabama's play in the periods that they were successful versus the ones that they had some problems? Well, you know, you, you take our performance from the first period of the first game and, you know, we outshot them on the scoreboard. It was 25 to three and we were down two to nothing. And, you know, I think something that, you know, we've been kind of learning it all year, but it, it kind of, you know, really reared its head this weekend. And it was a big learning experience of, you can't focus on the scoreboard because you look at that first period, it was kind of a microcosm of the whole weekend where, you know, we played really, really well and we executed phenomenally that period. You know, we had a lot of scoring chances. We played well in our defensive zone. We only gave up three three shots, period, let alone scoring chances. And the result just wasn't what we wanted. And, you know, we kind of came back and you saw our performance in the second period was, you know, like there's some frustration that it said. And it's like, look, like you're getting frustrated based on the score board and not focused on what your play is on the ice that has been actually pretty phenomenal and pretty elite in terms of execution so you know we kind of settled them down and in going into the third period and you could see that you know the third period you know the execution was a lot more elite because of that so I think throughout the whole weekend there was a lot of frustration that built up but you know it was a very good learning experience that you can't always focus on the scoreboard whether you're winning or losing because that doesn't change your performance on the ice whether you're up five to nothing or down five to nothing you still have to block shots you still have to net drive you still have to change as quickly as possible you still have to transition as quickly as possible so hopefully going forward uh, you know we take this as a good learning experience and we build off of that coach this weekend unfortunately Alabama had some players go down during the games due to in due to injury uh, can you give us a, an update on the status of those players yeah, we did uh, have a lot of people miss uh, parts of games throughout the entire weekend. Uh, and that's, you know, you'll get that with three and threes. It's, you know, it's a lot of hockey in a short period of time. So we had, uh, you know, th what, I think three people throughout the weekend, you know, miss up, you know, miss time because of upper body injuries that required stitches. So they missed parts of periods because of that, but they were able to return and they'll be, uh, you know, available for this weekend's games against Ole Miss. We did have Rob Ferrari miss time or miss the rest of the third game because of an upper body injury, but he should be cleared in time to play for Ole Miss. And then we had Jeremy Hanna miss, uh, miss, I think what the second and third game and the uh, rest of the first game. So he missed, uh, you know, two and a half have games because of an upper body injury and he's out indefinitely so uh, you know I think it's a good time to give uh, Emily our trainer a shout out you know she's done a phenomenal job all year keeping the guys healthy and then also our team doctors have done a good job of you know treating whether it's a, a minor or a major injury uh, we really appreciate all the all the help that they've been to us this year and uh, you know we'll continue to be the last uh, couple weeks of the season. Coach, I think one of the highlights of the weekend was Alabama's experience at the Naval Academy on Sunday afternoon uh, after a two-game series with Navy on Friday and Saturday. Uh, some of the players for the Navy hockey team were gracious enough to tour us around the United States Naval Academy in Annapolis, Maryland. Uh, it was one of the coolest experiences I've had with this team, and I know that everyone really enjoyed it. Yeah, I went to... Uh... You know, the Navy coaching staff on Saturday before our game and said, hey, you know, is there any way we could set this up for tomorrow? So, you know, we really appreciate them doing that on such short notice. But, uh, you know, a big thank you to Navy's captain, Matt Harrigan, along with Douglas Beck and Sabatini for touring us around. I know it was a phenomenal experience for, you know, all of our guys. And, you know, like, you know, we talked about it on the trip ourselves that, uh, you know, my grandfather served in the Merchant Marine during World War II. So, you know, he was on ships for a few years. And I know both of your grandparents parents uh, you know we're in, in the service as well and so I you know pretty much everybody you know has some type of connection to the military and military service during wars so you know I think it was a really good opportunity for everybody to get appreciation for how those guys are trained and and what they go through and just to get to kind of spend some time with them individually so you know they did tour us around but we had a lot of one-on-one -on -one time throughout the tour that we were just kind of talking with them and and getting a frame of reference for how their day was and what they're going to do after they graduate so you 
you know, it's probably got to be one of the most rewarding experiences we've had all year. So, you know, again, a big thank you to uh, the Navy coaching staff and the players for touring us around. It's something that, you know, none of us are ever going to forget. Coach, coming up this weekend, Alabama plays their final two away games of the 2016-2017 campaign, a two-game series against Ole Miss and Olive Branch, Mississippi. Uh, and then after that, the team has a lot more experiences here at the Pelham Civic Complex, and we hope that fans will come out and join us. Uh, but if you will, let's just look forward to what Alabama has left now on the season's calendar. Yeah, you know, it's always good to play those SEC games, those rivalry games. So we're looking forward to, uh, you know, going over to Ole Miss. Uh, I did not play against Ole Miss when I was here, and it certainly wasn't a road, road game at Ole Miss, so I think it's going to be a good experience for myself and along with the rest of the program. But, uh, you know, the week after that, we have uh, we host West Virginia. So, you know, those are our final two Division One ACHA games for the rest of the year. So, you know, we hopefully, uh, hopefully we can get a lot of support for that. I know the guys always appreciate it. And then we have a few more uh, home games the next couple weekends after that. So, you know, the season's winding down, so we certainly hope that everybody comes out and supports the team as, uh, as much as they possibly can. Thanks, everyone, for watching this week's edition of The John Beerson Show.